Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build an advanced Trident Killer for your Bedrock Edition worlds. This Trident Killer is unlike any other Trident Killer on the Bedrock Edition because this one actually delivers all of the drops and all of the experience from the mobs that it kills directly to you, the player. You don't actually have to stand next to this Trident Killer. And what this allows us to do is actually have several different Trident Killers around the world at various different mob farms and sources of experience and then channel all of those drops and experience into one small area. This is very useful for big advanced mob farms, different layouts of different mob spawners. It took quite a long time to actually get it reliable and fully functional, but it did actually turn out fairly simple. It works amazingly and it's very, very fast as well. So if you're not aware of what a Trident Killer is, let me quickly explain these things and also give you a few of the pros of this particular Trident Killer as well. So basically, Basically, these things are just a kill chamber. You can hook up these kill chambers to basically any form of mob farm in the game. These work for like 99% of all mobs and it's really, really awesome. The main reason why these are awesome is because it treats it as a player kill and it's also remote. You can fully AFK these things. They are 100% automatic. You don't have to do anything at all besides like actually build the thing and then turn it on. And again, it treats it as a player kill. So as you can see, we're getting experience from all those mobs in there. And we are also holding a looting sword as well, which means that every single mob that dies in any of the Trident Killers that we have set up in the world is going to get the looting effect to actually apply to them. So if we could just summon in some spooters for some demonstration, you can see these guys are gonna be dropping a ton of experience down here in our output. And we're also gonna be getting just a load of drops from these guys as well. Seriously, Trident Killers are just amazing one of the best things that we have on the bedrock edition so again this is more of an advanced trident killer not everyone is going to need this and not everyone is going to want this either and it's not going to be practical for most mob farms however i do have a few use cases in mind for this thing so that's why i went ahead and designed it and why i'm making a tutorial for it because i figure it'll be very useful to some of you guys out there as well who are making different mob farms so if you want more of a basic trident killer or more of a basic run down on how exactly these things work I have made a separate tutorial which has four different Trident Killer designs and those ones work perfectly fine you just have to actually stand next to the kill chamber if you actually want to collect the experience unlike with this one where you can have multiple of these kind of scattered around the area and they'll send all the experience to one area so while this Trident Killer might actually look extremely simple I promise you this took many many hours to actually fully design you can see a bunch of my prototypes and testing over there yeah lots lots and lots of testing went into this that being said it's not actually 100 percent efficient on delivering all the items and drops it to you as you can see sometimes when the mobs kind of clip out of the area their experience or their drops might go upwards because that's just what things do when they are inside a block so you'll have a little bit of loss depending on how you actually plan on getting the mobs into your kill chamber but that shouldn't be too big of a deal and if you want to see the actual insides of this place we have two trident killers one on either side the guys are kind of standing on top of walls and this entire thing is fully encased in several different layers of blocks because that is going to suffocate any of the mobs that try and clip out but I've done very 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 significant testing on all of this and I've never seen a mob actually escape this design so that's excellent every mob that goes into that kill chamber is going to die no matter what all right so that's kind of all there is to know about this advanced trident killer if you are interested in the materials needed for this build then there will be a materials list down below no world download for this one because you know it's fairly simple you guys shouldn't need a download for this very simple tutorial uh, but other than that let's kind of hop into it shall we so this Trident Killer is rather large. It's going to be seven blocks wide by six blocks long and at least eight blocks tall as well. Now, most of that, you know, actual size is just the blocks that we have on the outside to prevent mobs from glitching out and escaping your kill chamber because mobs do really like to glitch out. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with a two by two of packed ice right here. This can be, you know, packed ice or bloom ice. And that's going to be a couple blocks in from the corner of your build area. And this is just going to have a little bit of a tail on it going on for a couple blocks. This is going to be the actual output of your farm where all of your experience and all of your items actually end up. So you can send that into 
whatever you like preferably through a little bit of an item sorter to collect the items and then to where the actual player is afking to collect all of the experience uh, but from that we're actually going to go ahead and build up a little bit of a casing around the entire edge of this area because we're going to have water down here and we want to build this up by two blocks tall as well going all the way around so all of these glass blocks right here can actually be solid blocks if you feel like replacing those although i do like the look of the glass because then you can actually see all the experience and drops coming through uh, but moving a layer up from that these blocks right here do need to be glass so the reason for that is we're going to be having our walls in this location right here and if these walls are connected to a block the mobs in your kill chain are going to have a much easier time actually escaping and then glitching out into the actual walls meaning that you'll lose some drops uh, so yeah make sure that these are all glass blocks right here and then we need a fence right there and two solid blocks right there that does need to be connected to actually prevent mobs from glitching out uh, this game is weird and then you want to get yourself a stair in this orientation this is actually going to allow all the experience and all the drops to fall down into your water stream which is pretty cool moving up from there we need to fully encase this entire thing in solid blocks in all of these areas and that is the complicated bit of your kill chamber done moving on from there we need to install our trident killers now this design can have two trident killers one on either side in these two locations and that's going to make for some very very fast mob killing however if you don't want to have two trident killers that is perfectly fine uh, i'll be showing how to just build this with one at the end of the tutorial and it's very simple to just tear this out anyway you want to have two slabs in both of these locations and then two sticky pistons like so and then we're going to go ahead and fully encase this thing in another layer of solid blocks in all of these locations go ahead and put a layer of solid block above there above there in those locations and right there too so now we want to put another layer of solid blocks going all the way around this trident killer starting down here at the bottom level with your walls so we're just going to go around this entire thing with an extra layer of these blocks and then meet back up with the beginning over there and this needs to be a four block tall layer so going up to our top layer right here one above your pistons so basically just go ahead and fill in all of this with solid blocks of your choice cobblestone stone stone brick whatever you want to and then as long as it's a solid block it'll actually suffocate any of the mobs that glitch out of your kill chamber and then suffocate them they'll die they'll never be able to escape and that'll be all good and merry so now we can finish off the actual inside of the kill chamber and what you want to do for this is simply place a water bucket in that back corner and that should be flushing it towards that stair and towards your actual little output over here and again that's going to push out all the drops and all the experience from your kill chamber uh we can, what you can do now is remove the blocks above those slabs and you want to throw a couple of tridents onto every single one of your slabs and especially for this side the right side you want to throw these tridents towards the front half of that slab that way as it's actually pushing into the mobs those tridents will have a better chance of actually hitting the mobs you don't want the tridents to be at the very back of the slab like that one you want them to kind of be on the front and then for this side over here it doesn't really matter we're just going to throw two on each and every single one of those and then to cover those back up with some solid blocks in case this thing in a little bit of glass going up this can be solid blocks as well if you want it to be and this is just going to be the drop shoot from whatever mob farm you have and that's pretty much where you actually hook this up to your mob farm so as kind of a last minute change and improvement to this farm we're actually going to be moving the redstone clock that activates our trident killers just up by a block so we're going to place a solid block there and there a piece of redstone dust there a redstone torch repeater on one tick and then two uh saw blocks right there that's going to create a clock as you can see your lever is going to be going right there that's going to be the on and off switch for your farm and then we're just going to run a few pieces of redstone right above those two pistons right there and then a couple other pieces of redstone right above those two pistons right there and that's going to make our trident killers you know fire and alternate so they fire one after the other if they fire at the exact same time that's going to cause your mobs to actually glitch out so that's why we're alternating this thing 
and you can also move this clock basically anywhere and everywhere that you like it doesn't matter this is just like the simplest place to put it and also if you don't want this secondary trident killer the left side all you need to do is simply go ahead and remove those sticky pistons remove these slabs and just place them with a solid block so that's very simple that's going to slow down the killing of your mobs but it might make the thing a little bit cheaper maybe a little bit less laggy for you and maybe you're not too worried about the actual speed at which you kill them you just want to have the actual you know xp and drop speed delivered to you one final thing you need to go ahead and place a water bucket in this back corner and that's going to flush all the experience and all the drops to your output and then you just kind of hook that up into whatever you want so if you have any questions comments or concerns about this advanced trident killer do let me know if a comment down below as i'm always trying to help you guys out as best as i possibly can but if you did enjoy this tutorial maybe do share it around with others so that they can enjoy it too if you're new here and you want to see more tutorials like this do make sure to subscribe we are nearing 100,000 subscribers which is totally insane Thank you all so much for that, and I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.